Are you wondering what I am doing with this mirror? I will tell you shortly. Today we are going to find the image of a point in a plane. Consider this mirror as a plane. So as we know the position of the image of this point is something like that. And we are going to use two main concepts to solve this problem. Number one, distance of this point from this plane or mirror is equal to the distance of the of the image of this point from this plane or mirror and if we join the point and the image of the point through a straight line through a straight line then that straight line must be perpendicular to this plane or mirror that two concepts we are going to use today and the problem i have taken from this book Mathematics R.T. Sharma Volume 2 Class 12 Okay, so now we we'll move to the blackboard So here is the problem First we have to find the image of the point Then uh, We have to find the foot of the perpendicular We have discussed in our uh, previous lectures How to find the foot of the perpendicular So here we also derive the foot of the perpendicular And the equation of the perpendicular line so the vector. Okay. So let's start the solution. Find the image of the point this with position of this. So the point is the given point is say A previous page. This is the components 3, 1, 2. So first we draw the diagram. Say this is three, one, two, and this is the plane. Say this is the plane given plane whose equation is previous page r vector dot two i k minus j k plus k k equal to four. That is the plane equation of the plane given in normal form. Go to lecture 20 of my three diamonds and geometry lecture series. You can get the equation of the plane. So plane one equals Cartesian equation of the plane is Cartesian equation of plane. We will convert the vector form of the plane this one in Cartesian form for con our convenience. So here 2x minus y plus z equal to 4. 2x minus y, 2x minus y plus z, 2x minus y plus z equal to 4. Now if you go through my all previous lectures, especially lecture number 20, which I will provide the link in the description below, lecture number 20. So you can, you know that if n vector is the normal to the plane, then direction ratio of normal vector n vector is r direction ratios of normal to the plane. Normal to the plane in vector r2 minus 1 1 now here we com now we complete the diagram the image of the point a will be situated in this position say point b whose coordinate we are going to find say we will name this as small a b and c so the two main concepts what we are talking about at the beginning of our lecture are the two the main facts. Facts. One. If we join the point A and its image AB, it must be perpendicular to plane one. Now and the two is distance 
of the point A from the plane is equal to distance of the point B from the plane. That is AM equal to MB, where this is called, this we named it as point M. And this point M is nothing but what? This is the foot of the perpendicular of the point A on the from on the plane. So that point M also we are going to find. We have to find the image of the point A that is B also. Also, we are going to find the equation equation of the perpendicular line through this 3, 1, 2. Through this 3, 1, 2. That is, we are going to find the equation of the line AB. So three things we are going to find in this problem. That is number one, the image of the point A in the plane that is the point B which I have mentioned as small a, b and c. Also, second thing, we are going to find the position vector of the foot of the perpendicular. That is foot of the perpendicular from the point A to the plane, on the plane. So that is we are going to find the coordinate of M. Also we are going to find the equation of the perpendicular line that is A. So first we will find the image that is our main objective. So how to find here as we if we use this fact number one that is AB vector is perpendicular to the plane one. Also N vector is perpendicular to the plane that is it is normal as it is a normal to the plane so here i should draw in vector in a rectified way this one that is we can see in in the diagram that in vector is parallel to any vector because both are perpendicular to the plane so as N vector is parallel to AB vector and direction ratio of AB vector R. How to find the direction ratio of AB vector? Lecture number 2 or 3 of my lecture series. How to find the direction ratios of the line passing through two given points? So, a minus three, b minus one, a minus three, b minus one, and c minus two. Hope you have understood. If you still have any difficulty, go through my all previous lectures. It will be given in the channel this is playlist of my channel ssd capsule so as two vectors are parallel to each other so again by our previous lecture we can say any two parallel lines have same set of direction ratios or you can say two parallel lines the direction ratios of parallel lines are proportional to each other direction ratios of two parallel lines direction ratios of two parallel lines are proportional to each other. So, direction ratio of AB vector in our hand and direction ratio of N vector also in our hand that is 2 minus 1, 1. So, this one and this one. So, how can we write as N vector parallel to A vector? So, A minus 3 by the green a minus 3 by b minus 1 by c minus 2 by so previous page 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 equal to k say where k is not equal to 0 and k belongs to real field that is a non-zero scalar now from here we can Evaluate the values of a, b, and c. a equal to 2k plus 3, b equal to minus k plus 1, c equal to k plus 2. 
So we have found the values of ABC in terms of K, but we have to find the value of K. So how to find? Here we will use the fact 2, M equal to BM, that is M is the midpoint. If this is the line, this is the line AB, then M is the midpoint of A and B. So how to find? So here M equal to a plus here we write now m equal to the previous page a plus 3 by 2 b plus 1 by 2 c plus sorry c plus 2 by 2 so here we put the value of ABC. So M equal to A plus 3. See? A plus 3 by 2. So A means 2K plus 3 plus 2 by 2. A plus 3. Sorry. We are 3 by 2. Okay. Now B plus 1 by 2. So minus K plus 1 plus 1 by 2 and c plus 2 by 2 so k plus 2 plus 2 by 2 now if we simplify this we have in our hand 2k the next page we will write this 2k plus 6 by 2 2k plus 6 by 2 comma minus k plus 2 by 2 minus k plus 2 by 2 comma see previous page k plus 4 by 2 so k plus 4 by 2 now see in the figure so see that is the importance of a figure in geometry or in, you can say in mathematics here m is the midpoint of eb also m lies in where if this is the plane where we are going to find the image of this point now m lies in this plane m lies in this plane so the coordinate of the point m will definitely satisfy the equation of the plane so very easy nothing is there just you have to go stepwise and it is a very important problem in the perspective of your board exams also it will it has come in KBS, MBS teacher recruitment exams. So you can understand, you can feel the how much important is the problem is. Also, it is important for JE perspective. Perspective. Okay. So now as M lies on plane one, so it will satisfy the equation. Plane 1 equation of the plane 1 is 2x minus y plus z equal to 4. 2x. So, point M will satisfy equation of plane 1 2x minus C previous page minus y plus z minus y plus z equal to 4 that is 2 into 2k plus 6 by 2 minus y minus k plus 2 by 2 plus z equal to 4 implies 2k plus 6 plus k by 2 minus 1 plus k by 2 plus 2 equal to 4 implies here 2k plus k by 2 k by 2 so 1 at 1 k so 3k 6 plus 2 8 minus 1 so plus 7 equal to 4 implies k equal to 4 minus 1 minus 3 by 3 so minus 1 so we have the value of k in our hand now we will simply put the value of k in this M, then we will find the coordinate of the point M that is foot of the perpendicular 
and also if we put the value of k here then we will definitely uh, evaluate the point a b this is the point b which is nothing but which is nothing but the image image of the point a in this plane or you can say mirror that is the point b so we are almost done so that is point a equal to 2k plus 3 a equal to minus 1 okay so therefore a equal to 2k plus 3 see previous page 2k plus 3 b equal to minus k plus 1 b equal to minus k plus 1 c equal to see previous page k plus 2 k plus 2 now we will put the values so 2 into k equal to minus 1 plus 3 equal to minus 2 plus 3 means 1 k equal to minus 1 we have evaluated yes right so here minus or minus 1 plus 1 so 2 uh, here minus 1 plus 2 equal to 1 so point b point image of point a that is point b equal to abc is 1 to 1 this is the answer also you can write it in a vector form like i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap so this is similar answer now the point m now point m here is the point m so required now required foot of the perpendicular is m equal to see previous page m equal to 2k plus 6 by 2 2k plus 6 by 2 comma previous page minus k plus 2 by 2 minus k plus 2 by 2 comma k plus 4 by 2 k plus 4 by 2 here 2 into minus 1 plus 6 by 2 minus or minus 1 so 1 so 1 plus 2 by 2 minus 1 plus 4 so 3 by 2 equal to 6 minus 2 means 4 by 2 means 2 here 3 by 2 here 3 by 2 so this is answer also we can write it in vector form 2 i cap plus 3 by 2 j cap plus 3 by 2 k cap so answer so we have found the foot of the perpendicular coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular now we are going to find what equation of the perpendicular line see the problem so we have found the image, we have found the foot of the perpendicular and now the third part of the problem is the equation of the perpendicular line through this point. Equation of the perpendicular line that is AB through this point A, right, through this point A. So here we will use equation of perpendicular line. AB is we are going to find our concept discussed in our previous lecture equation of a line passing through two given points that is x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 z minus z1 by z2 minus z1 okay so here the point First point is 3, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2. So x minus 3, 1, 2. Bye, bye, bye. So don't go anywhere as I have said bye, bye, bye. Please watch the lecture to, to the end. Okay, jokes are good. Now x2 minus x1. 
what is the point we will take as x2 y2 z2 say b point b point b is 1 to 1 1 to 1 x2 y2 z2 and x1 y1 z1 is 3 1 2 Okay. So now x two minus x one. So one minus three minus two. Two minus one one. One minus two minus one. Okay. So this implies if we write this equation in vector form, our vector equal to three i cap plus j cap plus two k cap. Plus lambda times minus two i cap plus j cap minus k cap. So answer. This also is the answer if we put the equation of the line in Cartesian form. So we have completed a very important problem in theorems on geometry, a special type. I know that the lecture goes too long, but if you listen to this watch and listen to this lecture carefully to the end you can acquire a skill to master the concepts of theorems of geometry so hope you have enjoyed today's video if you want to learn about the important concept of skew lines please watch this video and if you want to learn about the concepts of theorems of geometry without pen and paper then check out this playlist thank you for watching